welcome again if you are a sales representative you want to manage all your sales tracking and you're looking for any tool then you are at right place today in this video i will explain you how you can manage your complete sales aspects into jira i will show you with the help of example and by using that you will be able to understand how quickly and how easily you can manage your complete sales activity within the Jira portal. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe it and click on bell icon, which will help you to get regular updates from the channel. And if you wanted to learn more about Jira and other products, feel free to refer my complete playlist. I will add the playlist detail into the description. Now, to start with this, navigate it to the project sections from here. Click on create projects go to the cells and from here start with lead tracking or sales pipeline if you wanted to build the complete sales pipeline select the sales pipeline if you want to just track the lead tracking use this jira has provided different templates by using these templates you can make your life easier now i've used the sales pipeline based on that i got this board let's consider i am working on different clients these clients are either amazon flipkart walmart or any type of clients which i am working with i want to track the complete progress about it in that case i need some applications or some tool to manage the complete sales pipeline here i want to update the regular status as well in that case jira is best tool where you can use it to make your life easier now let's start with this i i'm working with the customer whose name is amazon let's consider i'm defining just name apart of that you can add whatever fields you want just to make sure you can track each and everything here i'm done with the amazons i have created amazons here this is a critical for me even you can define the status based on a requirement let's consider i wanted to add that all those fields i will start from here i will select the projects whichever projects i am working on it i wanted to target this customer even you can add more number of fields if you want to target the vendor you can add it but for knowing that if you want to know the complete customizations always comment in the comment sections based on the comment i will definitely create how we can add more number of field in the issue types now here status it's new even if you want you can contract send follow up negotiations closed lost closed one all those fields we can create it all those status we can create it if you want even intermediate steps let's consider the uh, approval approval steps we can also add it but for learning that you have to be patient and add in the comment sections how we can create it i will create a new video and share with you based on that you can customize it now here i wanted to add as walmart even let's consider you have uh, connections with the walmart india or different country locations walmart uk or walmart uh, us you can also specify the country locations here or else you can add similar type of fields here as a part of customizations and select as a country fields descriptions let's consider i'm just keeping as uh, exactly same name but whatever descriptions you want which type of projects you are doing what all etiquettes are required project requirements are there where we are which all stakeholders are involved you can define everything here assignee is it's not assigned to at but if you want you can even assign to the team members let's consider in you are working as a sales head and you have a team of 30 people you can assign the projects to those those perspective and track it on the regular basis so totally up to you how you want to manage it you can always do that it's very easy and quick enough and as i mentioned it's very ui friendly and customization is much quicker so you can always create a detailed pipeline according to your requirements if you want to add more number of fields that is also possible in jira now priority instead of criticals you want to keep high medium or low totally depending on the leads or uh, the confirmations maybe either you can decide this priority based on the volume how much volume you are getting or based on the cost 
how much cost you are getting totally depending on you if you are keeping the priority fields based on the cost keep cost as a priority for every projects or for every clients if you are keeping based on the volume if you are getting a very high volume it means you are considering that customer as a critical so in that case you can select the criticals if you want i'm just keeping medium here let's create it and this will be added successfully now you can see here walmart and amazon is added let's consider i, I will add few more fields directly from here rather than going to this i will just add the name I'm trying to explain you how we can work it here. If you want to understand the complete logic, even you can reach out to me for detailed consultations. Now here, I will just straightforward move the amazons to follow up status. I will also explain you these different buckets. Totally up to you uh, how you want to add these fields or even you can add more number of columns. Now let me create few more, then we'll proceed it further. Flipkart then i'm just targeting some of the e-commerce based segments or if you want we can also add like twitter that is also called as x then jaguar ibm tcs let's keep this this much just to save our time here let's consider we had a complete discussions and amazon has decided to revert us back in next week in that case we'll just add the amazon in follow-up sections Let's consider we had a complete discussions with Walmart. They are fine with the ideas and curations. They wanted to proceed it further. That's the reason they requested with us contract. In that case, once the contract is sent, you can just move Walmart into the contract sent sections. Here, let's consider we had a detailed discussions with the Flipkart. We are working in the negotiation phase. We'll move the Flipkart into the negotiations. Again, coming back to the Twitter, we had a detailed discussions discuss about the project, but Twitter has decided to revert it back to us in next month. In that case, again, we'll keep Twitter into the follow up sections. But here you can keep the priority instead of critical. You can de decrease the uh, priority, maybe medium because client asked us to follow up in next month jaguar i wanted to keep the contract sent new let's consider we have completed all those phases and ibm we moved into the negotiation status and here i wanted to add one more status approval pending i mean one more column i will move this approval pending here let's consider ibm has completed the negotiation stage and they are waiting for some approval from their business team we will keep this ibm into the approval and after a few days ibm has declared that we are okay to go ahead it means we won this pipeline we'll add this to one status it means we have won the status now next step is moving towards working on developments or whatever piece we are working on it here let's consider flipkart discarded or uh, our proposals and they don't want to proceed with us they have selected some other clients or some other competitor then we'll move flipkart into the law status but as i mentioned if you want uh you can create as many columns as you want totally depending on you how you want to proceed it further Similar way, we have also had a discussion with the TCS and TCS has waiting for some budget approval. Then also we can keep it here or maybe you can, you can also create the budget sections, but to work with this, it's very simple. You can add number of fields here, add your teams and assign these tasks to the team members and you can do whatever you want, whichever fields or status you want, so you can move it further in this summary. Here you can see the detailed summary, seven updated. It means one is available into the approval pending. Two items are into the contract sent status. One is in follow-up, one is in negotiations, one is contract lost or we have lost that assignments and one we have won. So in this case, it's very easier for you to just take a snap of it and share with your superiors or to share with your manager or to share with your business team. So this is giving you a detailed insight about what is there in your pipeline and what's the status uh, behind it. 
in this case priority breakdown is this where we have almost everything in critical status and two items are into the medium similar to this we can also see team workload who is working on which item you can see it here now everything is assigned to me uh, or everything is unassigned status so i can see 100 percent load is an unassigned if we have the team members and we have assigned these issues to different team members probably those team members will be highlighted let me show you how we can do that let's consider this is assigned to me in this case i will go to the summary and summary sections will show see 20 percent of task is with deepa we can also see what is the status it's showing in the medium it means the priority is medium what is the status that status we can see it here so from the board sections whichever sections you will opt you can assign those values and depending on that the stats will be generated here two is done it means two items are moved into either lost or won status seven is updated what is due when you will add the due items and all you can see it here in terms of distributions if you have vendor customer or uh, different aspects you can also see this breakdown and related projects which all projects we have you can see it here so totally depending on you how you want to summarize this or how you want to see the stats you can easily see it creation of the detailed sales pipeline is much easier how we can manage in the boards or see the summary is quickly available at any point of time you want to see everything in list view you can have the detailed analysis or stats available into the tabular format where you can see category assignee due date everything is listed here at any point of time you want to add or decrease the columns from this table you can always feel free to add or customize it so it's very quick enough where you can do the customizations you can have look about complete stats or whenever you want you can select multiple fields copy to the clipboard or you want you can delete it if it is not required from the board in the calendar sections whenever you want you can add the customer names and you can update it it will give you an outline when you have to reach out to the customer for the follow-up next is timeline totally depending on the stats you can also create the timeline approvals are the setup for the approvals where we have to work signed off for our team forms here we can create a form so this is totally up to you how you want to build it in terms of report sections you can also generate different reports once you wanted to have a look on this and based on that this will give you details insights so if you want to learn more about this templates feel free to add your comment in comment sections i will be happy to create it for you so that's all for today hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle if you have any suggestions and feedback feel free to add in the comment sections thank you for watching